Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can log in to a website using your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So let's get started. What I am going to do is I am going to take uh, two text boxes for username and password of the website for entering username and password of the website and I am going to take two labels one and two and I'm going to take two buttons one button is to open the website and one button is to log into the website so let's take two buttons and I'm going to just change the text of these but labels first first is username so I will write user second is password so I'll write password and first button is to open website so I will say open web for example and second button is to log in so I will say login and let me change the font size so you can see I will select all the controls and I will go to fonts and I will change it to bold 16 okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a web browser so that we can verify that we have really logged into a uh, into particular website okay so I will take a web browser here so I can drop into the form and let me resize it okay now first of all I will use this open web button to open a web website in your web browser so just double click this button and in here just write web browser 1 which is the name of your web browser dot navigate and in the bracket just pass the URL of the website which you want to open so for example I want to log into Facebook or log into my Facebook account using the Visual Basics so I will open uh, this www.facebook.com just copy the URL from here and in the double quotes just paste your Facebook URL okay now this will open the Facebook uh, website in your web browser okay now in the second button just double, double click the second button and in here we are going to get our website and take the ID of the login and username text boxes so let's see how can we do it so here just write once again web browser which is the name of your web browser in my case web browser 1 dot document dot get element by id and in the brackets what we are going to do is we are going to pass the id of the username and password so just give double quotes here and how we can find the id of this text box and this text box what you need to do is just right click your uh, browser and and on the same page you need to right click and just click view page in source or view page source okay and this will open the source of your web page which is a html and javascript and all the source code of the web website now in order to search for uh, login and password just Control F 
just click Control F, which will open this Find option in uh, Chrome or any other browser. And in here, you can see email or phone. So we can search this text box by email or phone. So just write email in the find in this find uh, text box in here and you can see here we find email or phone here okay and we want to find the ID of this text box which will contain email so here is uh, the ID of uh, this text box which is email itself so I will just copy this from here so you need to copy the ID right so first is login ID or username which is email in this Facebook and I will paste it here and then I will just say dot set attribute and I want to set attribute which is called value and second option or second argument will be the text which we are taking from the username text box right so we will say text box one dot text okay so the name of my username text box is text box one that's why I have written text box okay in the same way I will just copy this uh, code and I will just paste it under this first line and now I just need to change the ID of the password so let's see what is the ID of the password and if you see here carefully we will, we will be able to find the ID of the password which is this one ID is equal to pass okay so the ID of the password is pass in Facebook okay I will paste it here and this will remain same but the text box which we are using is now text box 2 for the password okay so just write these two lines and now let's see if it works or not our code is not finished but let's see if we are able to set the values so I will first of all I will just open the website by clicking this open web and it opens this Facebook website right and I will type some random username and password and let's see if it sets to these text boxes or not so I will click login and you can see password is set here and username and set here whatever we write here okay and now we are going to change the type of text we will enter into this password text box because we don't want to show our password to the other viewers right so let's cancel it and go to your form and just select your password text box field and go to the properties and search for the property called password care so this is password care and whatever character you will enter here it will replace the real text by this character so for example I want to so show this um, dollar symbol instead of my password so whatever password I will write it will replace all the characters of the password by this dollar symbol okay so it will protect my password now the th third and last line of code which we are going to write here is we want to log in or we want to be able to press the login button somehow right so what we are going to do is so once again we will write web browser one which is the name of our web browser dot document dot get element by id and this time we are going to search for the login button id okay 
So in double quotes, let's search for the login button ID. So once again, when we see carefully here, the ID of login button is login button itself. You see here. And just copy this login button ID from here and paste it here. And then what we are going to write here is just after that just write dot invoke member dot not dot but what uh, member we are going to invoke is we want to click this button so we will write click okay so just write this line and these are all the lines we want to write now let's try and see whether it really works or not so I have this program running and I will give my username of my Facebook account and I will give the password and first of all I will open that Facebook page by this open web which will open the Facebook page you see here and right now it's empty and when I click this uh, login button you see it enters the username and password and it opens my Facebook page okay so you can always go to my Facebook page which is programming knowledge and you can give me a friend friend request or join my pages so I hope you have enjoyed this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now